Hello and welcome to another episode of Space Engineers. And uh, we have a lot of uh, salvage here. We've been, in between this episode and the last, I actually recorded another episode, but my recording bugged out and it was lost. So I actually have made some progress on the base that you guys haven't seen, as well as I got all of my various salvage from all around the base and all its little bits, and I put it all into one pile here. So we have the Trans-U, which we captured in the last episode you saw, and we have completely hacked this thing. So we are in control, and we could drive it if we wish, and we can take off and do stuff with it, but we're just going to leave it there. We're going to grind this thing down and turn it into scrap for us. Along with that, we have just a bunch of bits and pieces of things that we've blown to bits that have attacked our base, as well as, actually, a couple, there's one there and one here, of the Super Gremlins that we have taken out. They're actually pretty easy to pirate, so uh, whenever I see one pop up on my HUD, I go, oh, that's fr that's fr like a free freaking jump drive. All these superconductors right here. And there's another one right here. So we got a lot of superconductors that we can salvage from these guys. So I'm truly looking forward to that. To do such salvage, I have started construction of a new grinder pit. And uh, what I had originally done was I tried building up a like set of drills. And I was going to use the drills to go back and forth and get the majority of the digging done. But uh, there was a whole bunch of things where it just wasn't working and it was uh, I didn't plan ahead and things were in the way and all sorts of craziness and then after a while it just stopped moving even though I had set the pistons to move and I was just like why is this not working so I gave up but it did get some work done and we have a little bit of a pit here but we're going to make this pit much deeper and uh, hook it up to the base through we've got these pipes down here so we can probably probably just extend this pipe into the wall if not just go up and into the wall sort of thing and uh, we'll go underneath the extension to the platform here all the way to right here and it should be centered yes it is and then we'll go straight down from here with the tube and then plug into the um, the grinders underneath. And I want to make this fairly deep. I'd like to make it, say, 10 blocks down. So that way we can get a entire ship, such as this Transu. Uh, and this is 35 by 35. And that should be enough if we fly up quite high here. We can see that the Transu should fit into that if it's put in on, on, in on a diagonal. And the, the Super Gremlin should fit right inside of it. So most ships are going to fit in this. If not, they like, cut them in half and they'll fit for sure. Beyond that grinder pit, what I'd also like to do, we'll see if we can get to that this episode, is put on some doors here. So like uh, a little rotor right here and then blast doors. So this entire thing is going to open up with two big blast doors. Brrr, creak open drop the ship in, creak them closed, turn the things on, and just let it bounce around in there, so that way nothing can bounce out. And, uh, yeah. But, to build this, now that the, uh, the drill system that I had tried to do completely failed, we're gonna do something with some blueprints. So, we're gonna grab a projector, and we're gonna do a little bit of cheaty stuff, because it's going to be easier. So normally what I would do is, oh, else so we should get a uh, seat of some kind, like a flight seat. Normally what I would do is I would go into a separate save in creative mode and prepare my blueprint. However, simply because I want to do this all in one session sort of thing, I'm going to do it right here with you guys and I'm just going to temporarily turn on creative here in my survival world but anything I create in that I will delete 
so I'm not cheating. But let us go move over over here so we have a little bit of room. And we're going to go Alt F10, and that brings up the admin tools. And we can enable creative tools. So now that we can, we can just build stuff. But we'll make sure to get rid of things that we uh, build here so that we are not cheating. So first thing is we need to replicate our stuff. So we need a conveyors. We need some grinders. And our thing there is 35 by 35. It's five blocks wide at the path, 15 on each side. So we need to make a little square of 35 blocks. So we'll put one block down there. Uh, actually, we'll just start with one block here. Make sure they're aligned to the local grid. Come on, so 34 here. Total blocks fly out this way. Doesn't matter if things go into the ground here. Uh, it does kind of matter there. So I'll go 30 this way. We... All right. I don't want this sticking in the ground. Let's uh, temporarily put this up on some stilts. Let's get this out of there. There we go. Now we can go 35 blocks. And it won't get in my way. So 35 blocks. By 35 blocks. So this will be 34. Reaver ship is gone for a thing. Uh, the transu is probably going for the Oban tide. That's fine. You guys can fight it out. And we'll just finish off this square here. Another 34 in this direction. And then right here to come back to there. All right. So that's how large it is. So on the bottom, we're just going to do a layer of grinders. And grinders, you can see, have one on each side and one on the bottom. So we're going to capitalize on the one on the side. We'll do that, get that all set up. And now to do an entire floor of grinders. And oh my god, how many of these are going to make? So we already did one side of 30-something. 1,056. We're going to have to make over a 1,000 grinders. Uh, <laughs> okay, this is going to be fun. All right, so now that that is in position, this side here has the access to the ports. So we have to clear out this side of armor and put down a side of junctions so that they all are capable of seeing all the stuff all right now right in the middle should be if i'm not mistaken something about here and this is where pipe should start coming in and it can immediately turn upwards so let me confirm this is in the middle from here to the side is 17 and from here to the side is uh, 17 all right so we are in the middle excellent so now we can go up however many blocks we want and i want this to be 10 deep so we're gonna go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten then we're going to uh, actually take this back one because then we're going to rotate. And the same thing with the walls here with the blocks. We'll do a lot of blocks. Oh my god. And we're going to make it so it's one taller than this over here. Uh, yep, one taller. Or five. So this is basically what the view will be like. This is going to be ten deep into the ground, and that will be the grinder pit down there. And this will be the pathway into the base, with this tube being the feed into the base. 
And then this tube will just extend it out, I don't know, like 30 blocks, because I'm not sure how many blocks that it needs to be aligned with in order for it to pop out the other side, because there's a bunch of dirt here that I need to dig it I need to dig out manually. But that will be good. So now all we have to do is just fill in these walls. Oh my god, so many blocks. This is going to be a huge strain on my resources to build this thing. One block, one wall there. Ugh. Another wall here. And the last wall right here. So in case you're wondering how I'm doing big walls at a time while in creative, I'm holding both control and shift at the same time. If you hold control, you'll make a line. If you hold control shift, you can make a flat area like so. And the same thing with uh, right clicking. So right click a line or right click a flat area. And there we go. Excellent. So now we have what is essentially the design for our pit. Now, I have no idea. Let me just temporarily throw a battery on this just so that it has some power. As I want to try out... Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to place a battery. There we go. And I'd like to try out rotors and blast doors on this. And see, can rotors open a blast door this goddamn huge? Because that would be interesting. And I believe all I need to do is like put a rotor like this. And then for the blast door, I need to... Which way do I need to rotate this? I am uncertain. I don't use blast doors very often, so I don't really know what I should be doing with them. Blast doors, corner inverted, blast doors, edge, blast doors. So this should just work here, eh? And just a huge, long blast door, like so. Probably not, it may not fit. I'm probably going to have to figure out how to do the doors in a future episode, but in the meantime, just having this thing will work fine. So I can cut it here. I can go and make a blueprint of this. Uh, yeah, it'll be fine with the... Uh, actually, this thing should be a station. So if I cut it off, because I have unsupported stations, it shouldn't fall. I'll still save to... Uh, Save scum this if it does. Yep, it doesn't fall. Excellent. So it's just floating there in space because I have unsupported stations as a setting. And then I can aim at the block right here. Control B. And it's going to take it as a blueprint. And we'll just call this thing... It'll just be static grid this for now. Then I can delete it to get rid of it and turn off creative. And there we go. So, we designed something, but we didn't spawn anything into our survival world, so that way we're not cheating. And uh, I'm still getting O2 high, even though I'm outside of my shield, which is kind of strange, uh, but it'll be okay. So we're going to jump into the flight seat, we're going to go to the projector, we're going to go to our blueprints and grab that blueprint we just made. Here we go. Static grid 949. And we're going to copy to clipboard here. Uh, not copy to clipboard. I wanted it. Oh, yeah. It should be good here. So, so um, in the G menu, we're going to go to our projector. We're going to increase, decrease, increase, decrease. Get all these things on there so that we can... get that thing into position. We're going to scroll out here. All right. So first off, what we need to do, and in the meantime, I'm going to turn off my nanites so that way they don't uh, start building this before I've got it into position. All right. So first off, what way 
is this thing going here? Uh, these last few. What about decrease pitch? That direction. All right. Now slide it back this way. And slide it. We will slide it down, but we'll first slide it forward. Until it's aligned. Which we can use this angle for. All right. So that looks like it's aligned with my thing. Maybe one too far, actually. Hmm. Oh, is it actually slightly smaller than the than the space that I have? Okay, so we want this pillar to be here. That is correct. This is correct. Back to here. And then this is... Oh, cool. My, this thing is actually a little bit larger. I miscounted, it seems. Let me just quickly... Uh, I don't want to turn back creative on right now, but quickly count this out. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 35, 36, 37. Yes, it is slightly longer than I intended. So I made a mistake. You, actually, don't need to be here. I'll clean that up in a bit, but it just means that uh, it is properly aligned right now for that. So all I need to do is now sink it into the ground until that aligns down here. And get rid of that. Excellent. So what is that? No, oh, that's good. Three. Press the three button. Enough times to sink this down. I think I can go into first person here, and you can see as that goes down, one more, and it aligns. Excellent. So now, we have our projection down there, into the ground, and if we come over here, and look over here, yes, we have that projection popping out right where we needed it, so that we can see everything. And now what we can do is go through this, and use our ship, actually, to finish digging this out. It's kind of unfortunate that this was... Uh, it's annoying that this is happening. I might have to just make this a couple longer because... Goddamn. Though, I'll figure something out there. Because that, that, that dirt is now dug away and that will look horrible. But we can jump into the ship. We can unlock it from here. And as we start digging out stuff, we will run into the projection, like so, and then we know that we have dug far enough in that direction, once we've uncovered the projection. So like, let's tunnel down a little bit here. Ooh, tunneling straight down into the dirt. And at some point, yep, there they are. There is all of the grinders. So after I've found them all, and uncovered them all, and destroyed all this terrain here, we can uh, get the nanites welding this thing up, and eventually use it to uh, you can get rid of all the salvage. Because, holy crap, I'm having so much salvage, my save has been chugging, and, like things have been going wrong, essentially, in my base, because I just have so much extra grids on this save. Ugh. But I'm going to do some clearing out here, and I'll come back when it is good to weld up. You're just about done all this digging out. It took me like 20 minutes of my own time, but for you guys, due to the magic of editing, it was instantaneous. Ah, joys of being able to edit out all of my tedium for your guys' entertainment. 
So yeah, just gotta clean up a little bit of the stone around the bottom here. I don't want to make it too deep so that there's like big crevices underneath of where uh, these are, but we do want to uh, not have the stone sticking out above them. That would be a good thing. So we need to make sure to knock down all the little bits of uh, stone we can still see here. But that should be easy. We just need to fly over sort of a skimming pass here, just like so. Stop knocking into it and deflecting me back upwards. Yeah, that's how you do it. Oh, God, is there a tiny little bit there? I, th I saw that with my camera. We must go kill it before we drop something in here and it bounces off of that and then bounces into the side and then destroys the entire world. At least that's what they, it, would, it would probably do because of my luck. But yeah, this, this grinder pit, now that we've got it, like, emptied out, like, holy crap. This thing is going to be huge. There is going to be uh, so much space in here to grind stuff. Uh, it's going to be so many times bigger than the one that I built on Earth. But that, that's what the moon's for. It's for making everything big. It's Space Engineers' it's Texas, right? Uh, but, nevertheless, what we're going to have to do is, as soon as I'm done here... We'll go dock back up so we can recharge our batteries and hydrogen tank. And uh, queue up like a thousand grinders to be built. Because, yeah, we're going to need it. There's, 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 there is a lot here to uh, get put into position. I've already re-enabled the nanites. They have started building this thing up. And it's probably going to take them a little while. And... Uh, could help them along by jumping into the welder ship and throwing some bits at this. Uh, interestingly, there is no grinders there in the blueprint in the center. What is... Huh? Huh? Yeah, there's a little hole in the, the blueprint, but there's no grinders. Uh. Okay. I'll just have to fill those in. But that is fine. We got the majority of them down. Clean up these last little bits here. And it should be good. This little bit is... Oh, it's a ghost bit. Okay, yeah. It just uh, It's a piece of rendering that hasn't updated. It's not actually uh, physically there. Um, and before this gets too far down here, I also want to make sure I punch in that little bit here. Should be on this side. Wherever the... It should be right here, isn't it? Uh, where is the center? Right there. So I should be able to... Get the space for the, the tube. Is it not there? Dun, dun, dun. Ah, there it is. Excellent. Yeah, so we have enough space on this side so that the tube can be built up. And then from here, uh, let me just go park the this ship. We'll do the rest of that little bit by hand because it is such a small little area to work with. So nanites are doing their thing. Let's go back into uh, the shield areas. And I do need to redesign this ship so that it has uh, connector ports on the bottom and add a remote control. Uh, I already has remote control, but connector pointer on the bottom so that it can park up on one of these. So, at some point in the future, this little ship might be removed due to uh, needing to... Well, I can recycle it. Turn it into my utility ship Mark II with all sorts of wonderful stuff. So let's do that. It's going to recharge its local hydrogen tanks, right? Come on, stockpile. Fill on up. Drag them from the large tanks in the base. They'll only lose like a couple point percent and you'll get fully maxed out. Absolutely wonderful. Yeah, I need all this to be automated so that when I press the uh, dock button, all that kind of stuff occurs. Alright. 
so now that that is in the way and that's all placed there we can grab our elite hand drill here and punch our way through as we've got these handy things here acting as a guide and we can go straight into the wall just following down the center of them get this all mined out and uh, the really great thing is that we don't have to actually place any of this stuff as the nanites will build it for me which is super useful at some point here we should take a turn downwards when we reach the wall of the thing eventually god this is actually way, for, way further along here than i expected there it is. Excellent. Nice little two here. Now we can turn downwards and punch our hole down to the little cross we made. And now everything's all connected up and we just need to wait for nanites to do their thing. Uh, what we could do if we want to do is get the upgrades for the nanites that... Uh, do more constructor nanites at once so we can throw one of those on in the meantime it'll cost a little bit more power but uh, if we do jump into the ship here this guy's connected up is six six days of power is that all we have on the base right now i find that hard to believe um do, 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 do. the control seat i have over here will give us an accurate reading because it's actually a seat on the uh, station. Six days, wow. Uh, my reactors, are you guys going nuts and doing lots of power? Nope. That is strange then. Reactors still have thousands of uranium. I'm actually slowly gaining it because there is uh, some ur uranium being processed. So I do not believe it when you say you have six days of power. That does not make sense to me. So let us go and get that thing onto the nanites. So I believe they're all power upgrades right now. So temporarily, let's cut our way in. Take off the power upgrade. No, I can't carry all that stuff at once. Uh, let me... I need interior plates to place that place something there so I can get something out of my Inventory pick up the full. interior plates oh come on stupid thing Inventory full. there we go now we can place that to dump our inventory into it and full. grab our things from it Inventory full. Ah, this isn't working out how I want it to be All right, we'll just cut that off so we can Deposit things into the nanites control center. Alright, get all that stuff out of there. And now we can place the upgrade, which is the construction upgrade. But I kinda would like to do two of them for now. So we'll get these as well. All those. Now for the construction upgrade. Grab everything we need to, build it, slap it down, and build her up. Grab everything we need, slap it down, build her up. We'll leave this open temporarily as uh, we're going to want to be able to, to access this again to uh, swap those back. But now we can see way more streams are being used and they're being sent out towards the construction over here. And we can check the power usage of the nanites. Now it says we're running out one day. I don't believe you. Um, we've got nanite control facility. Normally it's just a few megawatts, and now it is 98, 112 megawatts. Was there my reactors off? Was that my there? No, they're on. See, I don't believe this. There's no way that we're going to run out of power in 17 hours when we have this much uranium on base and we're 
gaining uranium because we're refining it in two places. So, I don't believe you. I think we have tons of power. Batteries, we are recharging on them. Yeah, we're fine. So now, this should be building fairly quickly. Excellent. So that is an example of how you can use a um, a blueprint like this to guide some drilling and also to guide yourself when you're creating uh, something like this so that you can you know, uh, I've seen Splitsy do it to build hallways in his base underground it's a very good use there just clean up a couple things here with the hand drill and to build pits like this it's also good oh, there's a couple blocks where uh, things aren't being projected that's interesting Either not being projected or they are just not there. Alright. So, what I'm going to do is uh, we need to clean this edge up. We need to do something about the fact that I accidentally drilled out these voxels. And I'll just grind these out as I'm talking about it. So there's a few mods out there that would allow you to uh, replace some voxels. So I think I am going to go and give one of those a try and see how it works so i'm going to save the game exit out find one of them and load back in and let us clean up our little edge here from our our drilling mistake and uh, just loading back in i didn't realize how much my legs <laughs> just flopped around when i was flying around with my <laughs> engineer <laughs> It just feels like his legs are just, like, complete spaghetti. Well, I guess this is a lot of acceleration. I doubt even I would be able to control myself that well. It's actually surprising he can keep his arms together, but it just looks funny. Uh, okay. Alright. So. Uh, added in a couple options here. Let's go take a look at them. There is... It's not that mod. It's a concrete tool that you can get. Soil tool and concrete tool. A couple things I want to give a try. Oh my god, I'm so floppy. Why am I like so ragdolly right now? <laughs> this is ridiculous. Okay. Let's try building those. So production. We got dirt bags and concrete mix. Let's build those tools. Concrete tool. And... Grab that out. Onto my character. And get it on my bar. So for this, I need to... Need concrete mix. So let's go to some concrete mix. And it needs gravel. Alright, let's make ten of that. We'll see how that works. Alright. I've, so, I've said it so that gravel will not tra travel through because gravel's such a bitch. Um, right, let's just grab a thousand gravel and we'll deposit it ourselves over here into the system so that it can be used. Convey. Just, uh, oh, what we, pro we should, what we should probably do, uh, let me clear off everything that I have is we pr should probably put a small cargo container over in the assembler area just so if I need to I can manually um, input system things into their system so that you know oh if they don't have access to this I can manually give them a little bit of X Y and Z sort of thing so uh, then from here I can grab a bit of gravel and I can throw it over there. So that way they do have access to the gravel, but they don't need to uh, constantly be calling for it and call for infinite quantities of it. So now that mix should be able to get pulled out. Yes, sorry. And let's go give this a try. We've got 10 shots. 
So let's go see how it works. If we go over here, we need to place concrete onto the surface of asteroids and planets. Uh, left mouse button adds the concrete. Middle mouse button replaces concrete. Shift and scroll is box size. Ooh, okay. So I'm guessing that we're going to want to get a uh, full altitude. Wow. Snap altitude. That's cool. So I can snap it in altitude and make a flat terrain with this. <gasps> Ooh. Voxel grid. Okay. Let's see what this looks like. One thing is in the way. Oh, this pile of crap. Okay, let's go to here. Ooh. Oh, I'm going to need a lot of concrete mix for this. All right. Let's go make a few hundred of them and come back and give that some more of a try. Because if I can clean that up and make it look a little bit prettier, that would be quite nice. And I like the fact that I can do it in survival, so it is not um, something that is like, oh, I have to you know, cheat it in, use the voxel hands sort of thing. So let's make a couple hundred gravel, please. A couple hundred concrete mess. You should have the ability to get some gravel. I put gravel into this system. Does uh, the main assembler not have any gravel? Why is there gravel in a hydrogen tank? I have no idea. Come on. Doesn't have any. Alright. We'll grab some gravel out then. As we have that ability. And you produce as much as I need. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I wonder if it's because I'm um, actively pulling bunches of stuff out of this thing. Because I've got the uh, drain all on. So I can, if I turn that off, then it won't pull that, uh, that gravel out. And therefore, I won't have to... Uh, continually restock it with gravel just to get a few things built. It'll just have gravel for what it needs. So, mix. Yes, give me my mix. Alright, let's take that 48 and go see what else we can do over there. Please overlapping voxels. Shift B is lock mode. Blo block rotation. There's a whole bunch of stuff. You can also adjust how far away the, the box is from you. You can do it nice and close or nice and far. Oh, this stuff, this thing's very cool. So that's pretty much leveled out. 21 concrete mix needed. It needs so much concrete mix in order to fill this in. But, I mean, it works. That's for sure. And it'd be really nice. I could do this uh, around the base to make some really flat voxels. Lock it to a, uh, a level and I could make like parking areas and stuff around the outside of the base. Maybe uh, clean up my floor a little bit, but I don't do it because I'm putting the actual concrete blocks down. But yeah, let's just uh, go and feed that thing with a bunch more gravel and tell it to make me like 10,000 of them and we should be good make me concrete mix thank you there's another thing which is dirt mix which they have this soil tool I don't know where that I don't know where you get that tool because I don't see a way to craft it. 
unless it's in the progression somewhere. With the soil. No? I don't see it anywhere here. So, not sure how to use that particular mod, but at least the concrete mod works well, so we can use that. Excellent. Uh, let me clean that stuff up, and I'll be right back. Oh, very nice. We have a custom angle on this as well. So I can make this angle up a little bit into my my base here. Like so. Of course, that thing is in the way, but eventually... We'll have this be a nice, even angle to the edge there. Very good. Very good. Uh, da, 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 da. This needs to snap a little bit. Uh, oh, oh, I'm, I've lost my, my rotation here. Come on. There we go. That's a, that that was better, and then I screwed it up. Come on, just flatten it out again, please. There we go. That was, that's fine. Yeah, we can just build up our voxel. <laughs> no longer is it ugly. It looks decent. Yay! Or at least better than it was. It doesn't need to look super pretty, as this is the sort of far away from the base, places I won't be very often. It just has to look not horrible. And I can always come through here with um, my grinder ship, my, 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 not my, my utility driller, and I can smooth this out by flying out near it with my drills on right click and sort of, you know, flatten it all out perfectly. I can just build this up as a whatever with my concrete tool. Excellent. Huh. This is a little bit vertical and ugly here, but whatever. It is better than having a hole in the ground. And then we can take our drill and we can just clean it off like that when we're done with it, essentially. That'll be a project to beautify the various bits of my base that have uh, had little holes in them. This is being drilled out, not drilled out, this is being built up as fast as energy it physically can. Low. Oh god, energy low. Ugh. Oh jeez, almost hit my head there. And, uh, yeah. So as the sun is going down here, we might have had a little bit of an uneventful episode. All we really did is dig a hole in the ground. But what the hell is going on with my character's arms? Why am I so noodly? <laughs> God damn it. Why is my character a noodle? I do not understand this. But we dug a pit. And it is a good pit. And it'll be a very useful pit as our amounts of uh, stuff we have here is starting to get unreasonable quantities. And we need to salvage it all, get rid of it all, put it into the pit, and let it be sacrificed to the Clang gods, which it looks like I'm doing some, like, Clang dance here. But that'll be it for this episode. Sorry that there was a delay in episodes as, uh, you know, life gets in the way. And this one maybe wasn't as eventful as it could be. But next one, we'll be using the pit. We'll be dropping everything into the pit, sacrificing it all to the clan gods. And then the fact that this guy uh, at the back there has a jump drive. There is a jump drive there. There is a jump drive here means that all of those superconductors, all that jump drive stuff, we are going to be able to fully outfit our new dropship with like multiple jump drives so that this thing could take the 
like the whole jump all the way to Mars or the alien planet in a single go, hopefully. Uh, the plan would be that if it's empty, it'll get there under a single go, and if it's full, it may take, say, three to get back. That's the hope. And then we've got uh, this guy to uh, then also throw into the pit to uh, salvage my old original dropship. But that will be it for now. Thanks for watching. And as we look out onto the base and the earth at night, good hunting out there.